Good evening, Mrs. Diane Cisneros, and today is still Saturday. This is my third video today, and I'm just trying to learn some of the new uh, products in the catalog. And the one I've chosen to do tonight is called Simply Pressed Clay, and it comes in a bag like this, and it is full of white clay, and it should last you forever. Um, just a very small amount of this clay makes a flower. So, uh, and when you're done with it, make sure you seal it good because otherwise it'll dry up. Uh, the other thing uh, that comes with this is the two uh, molds. And one is for buttons, this one, and one is for the flowers, blossoms. I'm going to concentrate on the blossoms. And I've watched two or three uh, videos myself to see what the girls were doing and um, the first thing that I decided to do is spray my molds with Pam and then I took a tissue and wiped it out so it wasn't extremely greasy. Now you're not putting this back in your bag so it's not going to hurt anything and it lasts for several um, flowers. I mean it works great. Okay so I'm going to take some clay out of the bag and I, I've been playing with it for a little while and what I learned is if you can get your ball of clay about the size that you need just to press down in there and you don't go beyond the edges then you won't have to cut anything off. I was cutting everything off. Now that one fits perfect. Now I'm just going to take another one, roll it up. I can tell that's a little too much. Try to stay within the borders of the flower. And then this one, this small one, is really tiny. Well, God, what did I do? Pick up every flower on the table. Now just while I've been playing, I've decorated these and they're all pretty much dry. They, they feel rubbery. I'm going to leave them till morning and see how they feel. Okay, so I've stayed within the borders. I'm going to turn it over and press. And see one's already out. I think the Pam really helps. There's another one. And then you don't have anything to cut off. So I would recommend you use that. I don't know. I haven't tried it without, but I love it with. So now I'm going to show you how I colored some of these. Um, there's so many ways that you can do this. Let me move this up. Uh, the first one I thought was cool is to take the flower and you put a little bit of water in here and several drops of the color. And the color I used on this one is uh, cantaloupe crisp cantaloupe and I'm going to spray so I'm going to let that one sit till the water absorbs and then uh, I can move it now I'm going to do another one let's see I'm going to use strawberry slush I'm going to put a little drop on one of my blocks. That's way too much. You don't need very much. I'm going to use a small paintbrush. And I'm going to paint this one. So this one will be pretty dark but it's beautiful. So 
So, you know, when I get through with this, I'm going to leave it till morning, and then I'm sure it's all going to be ready for me to put in a bag and store so that when I need them, I'll have them. Okay, so when you're done with this, you just rub it on your paper, and it's ready for another color. Okay, another one, another way I saw somebody do it is they, t I'm going to use the big ones. Going to move these. Now this one, I'm going to use a marker, and this is Daffodil Delight. And I, I'm not really going. It's rubbery. I'm amazed. You really can't hurt it. And I'm not going to try to cover it all. I think it'll be kind of pretty with a little bit of white showing, yellow and white. Now, see, I flattened that down a little bit, so you just take your pen and push it back up. And then in the morning, if you have any edges you don't like, like this one right here, you can take your scissors and trim it off. Okay, now, let's see, let me try to think of another way. Okay, another thing we did. Okay, this is uh, Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to put a, a slight drop on this again. And I'm using my water pen. I, I forgot the name of this. Anyway, it's got water in it, so it's going to be lighter. It's not going to be as dark. I love the way this looks. The more you play with this, the more you want to play with it. So, it's I can't tell you how light it is. It's like a feather. Okay, let's move that one. Okay, so I've used the marker. What is this? Good Lord, I have no memory. Um, okay, then we used that, and I used a little paintbrush. I used the spritzer. And now I'm going to try another little trick. I don't, I haven't tried this one yet, but we'll. If you have the new pads, the real spongy pads, you can try this. You can stick your, God, I can't remember anything. What is this tool? Paper piercer. Now, if this was a more set and dry, I think it would work better, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyway. So I'm going to just drop that in there without ruining the, the pattern of the flower. So there's another way. That's pretty. Um, and then I think my favorite is, let me move this out of the way. See, see how this edge is a little bit, has to be cut off after it's dry, or even now I could do it. Um, but that's one that did not, that I had a little too much clay. So, now I'm going to take my Versamark and a color. Let's see. I'm going to take an, uh, an embossing powder. Let's do Tangerine. No, let's do Pool Party. We'll see. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take a small flower. Let's do this one. And poke your paper piercer in the back so that it doesn't go through the flower. Tuck the edges down a little bit. That's something that I could have cut off. Okay, now I'm going to gently put this. This is, again, something I should probably wait until tomorrow to do. After it's set a little longer. Now I'm going to put it in the embossing powder. And I'm going to get my heat gun. that's melted and it's all shiny and I'm sure in the morning that'll be ready to go now let's try that again let's do one tangerine I don't know what happened to that one I must have had something on my my brush uh, anyway let's try let me see what's going on here what was I using um, okay, so I think I will go ahead and do a strawberry, a uh, tangerine. Let's try that. And you put your paper piercer in to the side so you don't ruin the flower. Gently tap on the Versa mark. Put it in your embossing powder. Let's see it. There's a portion there that hasn't got very much. And I'm going to go ahead. In other words, be careful. Make sure you get enough loose enough on the whole thing. So that one's beautiful. These are the embossed ones right here. I like them. I think those are my favorite. Okay, so we've done those two. Pool Party and uh, Tangerine Tango. Now I'm trying to think of what some of the girls did. Uh, other things they did. Let's do another one with the God, I wish I could remember what this is. Um, okay. So, I'm going to use... Let's see. Let's see what the cabana looks like with water. This one's embossed, so we'll try the cabana. see what happens. So I'm mixing that with a little bit of water. I'm amazed at how dark that comes out. And it's already setting. I can feel the rubber is, you know, uh, harder to move now. I mean, it's, it feels like it's already in place. I like this. Somebody would write to me and tell me what this thing is. My God, you'd think I'd know. I know what it is. But I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is fun. Okay, how about doing a heat and stick? And the dazzling diamonds I put back. Here's dazzling diamonds, okay. 
So then we're going to use uh, Versamark again. I'm probably making this video way too long. Okay, let's let's put this in the back of this one. Heat and stick. Dazzling diamonds. Okay, let's see if we can get some Versamark on here. Oh, geez. What's the matter with me? I didn't do the heat and stick, but let's see what happens. I'm just going to heat it just a hair. I may not need it. I think that'll be just fine. No heat and stick. So you can try it the other way if uh, I just forgot. I mean, I didn't hit the right. Okay, so now I can show you another way. I don't know how long this video is. Is it 16 minutes for the love? Okay, I better not. Okay, the other way I was going to tell you is you can take your clay, put a drop of ink in it, knead it, put it in your mold, and then uh, you won't have to color it. It'll be all done. So um, I'm sorry this went so long, but there's so much fun. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.